thought I'd come out here and make a video about this swather. Um, I tried to talk about it while I was using it. Get a little complicated and there was a lot of cab noise and my audio was pretty poor. Audio might be kind of poor today. I don't know. There's some wind out, but I don't have earplugs in. And uh, Anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about this. I bought it two or three years ago. They're reasonably priced. Um, the reason I bought it is because the, the uh, self-propelled swathers are about 20 feet wide, and I was concerned about taking them down the highway to some of our fields. Um, this is 25 feet wide, but um, it's got two positions. This is the field position here, where it's basically perpendicular to the, the tractor, and then it's got a transport position where it's pretty much in line with the tractor. It might be 10 or 12 feet wide, but um, and that's what I wanted to talk a little bit about. There's two hydraulic uh, hoses or two hydraulic uh, loops on this, and they're both single acting cylinders. One is pretty straightforward. It's on the reel. So you raise it up, and then if when you open it back up, basically the weight of the reel will push it back down. But where it gets interesting is the cylinder that's under, that's the, um, That cylinder down there is to raise the draper and the cutting bar and to lower it. That also, um, there's a, a, a valve underneath in that circuit that when you go from transport to field position, the wheels will rotate by taking, by backing off hydraulic pressure on that cylinder. Well, here's the, uh, the screenshot. There's a procedure you have to follow, and it's um, pretty, not detailed, but you got to do it in the right order. And then basically this tongue will come around, and but it, for the longest time I couldn't figure it out, and it was really frustrating. Okay, with that out of the way, it's, it's a bit kind of a basic implement. You've got your PTO shaft, and... Um, I changed all these belts out in here, and there's ways to tension them, but it's it's kind of straightforward. We, we pulled out this cutter bar because it was all bent and replaced all the guards and the knives. Let's walk around it and see. Let's see how it's holding up. I've only used it on about 100 acres. So these belts are new. They, they had um, squirrels would overwinter, and they just chewed them all up. Looks like the knife pretty good shape. I didn't see any, well there's no way I should have hit anything. I'm, I'm going at least a foot off the ground, but it cut really well. I'm really happy with this, how it's performed. Um, right there, Deer 590. And it lays a nice swath. The only difficulty is um, sometimes in corners and tight spaces it's hard to turn around because well, like I said, the swath swather is 25 feet plus this five foot here plus another five. You know, you're almost 40 feet width, and it gets tricky to maneuver versus the self-propelled. You can get into tighter spaces. Um, but my combine's big enough to take the windrow, the full the full windrow. The only other challenge is kind of opening a field up. You've got to go around the outside and then drive over some crop for that first round. And then go back over and come back the other way. Um, so that's more than a mouthful, but that's some of what I was talking about in the last video, where the the audio was pretty poor. I might go out in the Kernza field and just look at some of that, um, some of the swaths. But since I really don't know how to edit, or I know how to edit, but I don't have a good um, software. Oh, well, the swallows are out. That's, those are the birds in the Kernza field. So there's a lot of swallows in this uh, shed. They're up on the top up there. And they love following the tractor around as I'm uh, going over crops and scaring bugs up. Well, I'd make a nice long video. I don't know how long this is. Three or four minutes. Thanks for watching. And, uh, well, today i got to change the front tires on that uh, tractor. Time for new tires on that thing. Time to jack that up and uh, take them in. Bye for now.